everybody welcome uh, maybe it's welcome back maybe it's just welcome I haven't decided if I'm gonna post the videos of trying to move this thing into the garage because that project did not go well finally got the D2 into the garage and we're going to start working on it today. For those of you that know at least what a D2 looks like, you can see I've already got a head start on it. Uh, it was sitting in the, the driveway, not quite in the garage yet. I had some time. I got started on it. Okay, so issues we're going to address. The reason we are tearing this thing apart, number one, thanks to COVID, all the tractor shows got canceled this year. So we have the time to do it. Uh, there was the ones I'd normally be going to were coming up. In my first year with this tractor, I had to take to the shows, was really excited, but that's not gonna happen now. So, here we are. Uh, problem number one, we've removed the oil cooler because it was leaking. Somewhere around here, it would appear, because uh, you can see the oil on about the bottom four or five fins there. Uh, this whole thing, might need a new core. I don't know. We'll let the radiator shop guys figure that out. But it was definitely leaking heavily. And unfortunately, it's from the oil cooler itself and not the hookup points like I was hoping for. Two, uh, we're going to have the radiator shop take a look at the radiator itself because it's possible it may be leaking, not as severely as the oil cooler was. But I do see some coolant. I don't know if it's just from spillage while I was filling it up or if it actually is leaking. It's hard to tell at this point. Number three, and the biggest issue of them all, the reason we're doing this right now, pinion starter engagement. I, it's going to be too hard to show it on the camera, but I opened up and looked through my access panel here and it would appear as though the finger that pushes on the back of the pinion is damaged as well as the guide lever that keeps it centered. Um, it's kind of sitting down like this right now and missing the pinion entirely. So that's got to get fixed. That's the main reason we're doing this. It's going to involve splitting the tractor. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to try and make some sort of a stand to get the engine forward. and. Uh, the, the reason I believe it's like this, I could tell from the handful of times I started, is those pinion uh, governor levers want to kick out too soon, and it would appear as though the gentleman who owned this before me was just holding the lever up while he started until he wore that engagement out. We got it up here in the shop. This particular tractor was made in the first year 1938 number 505 of the narrow gauges so it, it's an early one uh, those of you that know about d2s will notice the oil fillers crankcase vents and oil filters are not correct for this year uh, when I bought the tractor, I did get a big box of parts with it. In that box of parts was the proper oil uh, system components, and we're going to put those back on. Those currently are at my shop, uh, getting reworked, uh, sandblasting, getting ready for paint, getting cleaned up, uh, getting the brass strainers cleaned up because those were pretty plugged. And hopefully all that stuff will be in tip-top shape to put back on the block. Issue number five, I think, I lost count. You can see that adjuster spring is broken. So we're gonna be making a new one of those and we gotta get the old one out. That's gonna be interesting. Issue number six. The main clutch lever has a lot of slop in it. Now on this lever there is a copper bushing that's press fit into the lever itself uh, that appears to be where the problem is it's pretty wore out so we're just gonna push that out and make a new copper bushing because there's not enough throw on this right now uh, 
the lever actually hits the gas tank before the clutch is completely disengaged so there there's some grinding issues currently